वेलकम टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एयरबस ए थ्री ट्वेंटी बिफोर टेक ऑफ नॉर्मल चेकलिस्ट कॉकपिट प्रेपरेशन चेकिंग दी वेदर रेडार इंजन एंड वाइपर्स लैंडिंग गेयर पिंस आफ ऑल दी गेयर्स दीज आर नॉर्मली स्टोर्ड इन द कॉकपिट फ्लाइट डेक आफ्टर रिमूवल एंड द क्र्यू इंश्योर द सेम ऑन बोर्ड बिफोर फ्लाइट साइंस यूटिलिटी साइंस एंड इंडिकेटर साइंस दैट आर लोकेटेड इन द फ्लाइट A D I R S, which supplies air data, that is the air speed, angle of attack, and altitude, and inertial reference, which is position and altitude information to the pilot's electronic flight instrument system, as well as other systems on the aircraft, such as the engines, autopilot, aircraft flight control system, landing gear systems. N A V is the normal mode of operation, which supplies full data to aircraft systems. Some other modes for A D I R S include. Off, ATT, fault, and align. Fuel quantity. The fuel quantity required for the flight route is checked and is loaded. Two data. The flight data is entered into the system and is set for the current route of the flight. Barometer reference. The transition altitude is the altitude above which all aircrafts are flying with the altimeter setting set to the standard reference, and below which all aircrafts are flying with the altimeter setting. to qnh or qfe windows and doors it is made sure that the windows and doors are closed beacon lights the purpose of these lights is to warn the ground crew that the engines are running or about to be started these lights must be switched on before the engines are initialized and should be turned off once the engines have completely shut down thrust levers or power levers are found in the cockpit of the aircraft and are used by the pilot co-pilot or the autopilot to control the thrust output of the engines flight is idle meaning it's on the ground parking brakes are set deicing systems are set as per the requirement ecam is defined as a system on airbus aircraft for monitoring and displaying engine and aircraft system information to the pilots in the event of a malfunction it will display the fault and may also display the necessary steps to correct it pitch trim to trim an aircraft is to adjust the aerodynamic forces on the control surfaces so that the aircraft maintains the set altitude without any control input pitch trim is automatic both in manual mode and when the autopilot is engaged rudder trim it is to counter any asymmetric thrust from the engines The rudder trim selector controls the rudder trim actuator which moves the neutral point of the artificial field at a rate of 1 degree per second of rudder travel. The rudder trim selector is deactivated with the autopilot engaged. So in this case it is zero. Flight controls. The Airbus A320 has a total of 7 flight control computers. Two elevator aileron computer, spoilers elevator computer, flight augmentation computers. Flight instruments. The instruments used in controlling the aircraft's flight altitude are known as the flight instruments. There are basic flight instruments such as the altimeter that displays aircraft altitude. Briefing about the procedures is done. Flap settings. In the Airbus A320, we have four settings. The first stage is 10 degrees of flaps. Second stage is 15 degrees. Third stage is 20 degrees, and full is 35 degrees. speeds all the speeds like v1 v2 and vr depend on several factors like the aircraft's weight the wind conditions as well as the elevation of the airport v1 speed is called the decision speed is the maximum speed at which a rejected takeoff is still safe after v1 is reached the takeoff run would be continued no matter what exceptions to that rule would be large system failures or an uncontrollable aeroplane We are rotation speeds. It describes the process in which the pilot gently pulls back the yoke or the side stick of the aircraft to lift the nose gear off the ground. This rotation happens at the so-called rotation speed or VR. V2 takeoff safety speed. The V2 speed is the minimum velocity that is required to safely climb even with one engine off. Until a plane reaches the acceleration altitude, the speed is most of the time V2 plus 10 knots. ATC notify the air traffic control about their operations
ECAM is a system developed by Airbus that monitors aircraft functions and relays them to the pilots. It also produces messages detecting failures and in certain cases the procedures required to correct the problem. The failures are listed in the color blue. No blue means there's no failure. Cabin crew is advised to be seated with the seat belts fastened for takeoff after the in-flight announcements. TCAS was developed to reduce the risk of mid-air collisions between aircraft. All TCAS systems provide some degree of collision threat alerting and a traffic display. The engine modes are crank, norm, IGN start in flight, IGN start on ground. We will discuss the various engine modes in another video. Pack flow. It is the air flow through the air conditioning packs. There are two packs, one operated by each engine. Normally, the system works on two packs, with some portion of the cabin air filtered and recirculated. Thank you for flying with Aviator Wings.